we use about 21,000 bushels of corn a day. And we take and we convert that corn into, um, into mash. We ferment the mash. And then we take and we, dis we distill that mash into alcohol. And so the next thing that we will do is we will take the, we will take the fuel ethanol in its raw form and we will upgrade it into high quality spirits. One of the things we pride ourselves on is being able to remove all of these things and make one of the highest quality products that's available in the world. You don't want the, you don't want the control system to be a constraint for the plant. You want it to be a, an asset to the plant. But we have a process here, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and, and this system, it's not what well, we hope it can work, it has to work. It started with uh, the maintenance manager at the time truly giving me one of those 2 a.m. phone calls that we're down, we need some help. With the system that we had prior to this, we would have to shut the plant down because we knew that if there was any thunderstorms in the area or any problems, that it would take, it would take the system out. Through consultation with the customer and, and our experience, we decided to go with the Plant PAX CLX platform. The robustness of the platform. Uh, we, we like the ability to use classic uh, DCS programming for those areas of the plant where that was most applicable. And uh, for the uh, sequencing parts of the plant, uh, we had the option of going to a different language and, and we, could, uh, we could apply best of breed. The Rockwell automation products that uh, Bachelor Controls implemented in this plant are uh, the CLX processors, 1756 I.O., 1797 I.O., various uh, PowerFlex drives. We were also able through that interface of the uh, CLX to interface to some existing drives and other processors. One of the concerns that we had with the, uh, with the expansion, certainly, is the ability to bring the plant down, uh, incorporate new equipment, and bring the plant back up in a, in a timely manner. We did the implementation in two phases. Uh, part of the reason for that is we wanted to get a, an infrastructure in. We had new communications infrastructure, went with a uh, redundant control net backbone to talk to all the I.O. racks. We wanted to validate that that was going to work and our plan to cut over from the old I.O. system to the new I.O. system and we gave them the same look and feel on the screens as they had before. The operators already knew what to expect and I think that was a strength that, that we were able to provide with a, a customizable MMI platform. One of the advantages of being a solution provider, and particularly a process solution provider, is that we have the ability to call Rockwell and ask for uh, assistance or support. I was totally impressed with the professionalism of how they laid out what they were going to do, how they were going to do it, the systematic approach they took to doing this. We knew that in the near future they were going to double their distillation capacity. We planned for it in the design of the uh, infrastructure you know, from the processors to the MMIs to the, to the communications paths to the data logging everything. We have to know where every gallon goes and we have to adjust everything to proof gallons. The system that we have is, is is almost endless in terms of the amount of information that we can draw from it. We can trend anything. The maintenance manager asked me for a spare parts list. I handed it to him and, and he went to his local vendor to get the spare parts list and asked him how, how that was coming along. And he says, you know, this price is less than we were paying a year for support. I mean, it was amazing to me to push the button and it, it all worked.